What are the differences between LCD screens, LED screens, and OLED screens? And which one's the best? That's what you're going to find out in this video. Let's start with LCDs, or liquid crystal displays. If you want to know exactly how an LCD works, you can watch my video about LCDs. I'll put a link in the video description, but for now we'll keep it simple. An LCD consists out of two main parts, the screen itself, which contains liquid crystals, and the backlight. This is a fluorescent light. The screen produces the image, and the backlight shines light for it, making the screen light up so that you can properly see it. LCDs are entry-level displays. That's because they are quite cheap, and their image quality isn't fabulous, but it's okay. Same goes for the response times and refresh rates. The disadvantage of LCDs is that black isn't really black. If there was a black dot in the middle of a screen, you'd have to turn the backlight in that region off to make it completely dark. But because the backlight consists out of a couple of big lights, you can't do that. That's why black on an LCD always looks like some kind of very dark blue. The screen can't block all of the light. Now, let's move on to LED. LED might seem like a new type of screen, but in fact that's nonsense. An LED is just an LCD screen, but instead of using fluorescent light as the backlight, it uses LEDs. This gives the LED screen some new advantages. For example, it's more energy efficient, since LEDs consume less power. Also, LED screens can be made very thin, thinner than LCDs because they don't have that bulky backlight. LEDs also have slightly more accurate colors than LCDs. What's also nice about LEDs is that black is slightly more black than on an LCD screen. Let's use the black dot example again, but now on an LCD screen. Because it uses lots of little LEDs as the backlight, it can dim the LEDs in the area where the black dot is located. This creates a better, more accurate black. The disadvantage of LCD screens is that they tend to be quite a bit more expensive than LCD screens. And then there is the last type of screen the OLED screen. Now, OLED is actually a pretty cool technology. An OLED screen doesn't have a backlight. Instead, the pixels on the screen emit their own light. OLED means organic LED. This is due to the fact that the pixels on the screen consist out of organic molecules, and no, they aren't alive. Organic just means that they are carbon-based. The screen can be ridiculously thin. It can be as thin as a sheet of paper. Also, the power efficiency is very high. And the issue with the black dot has also been fixed. Because each pixel emits its own light, the pixels in the area where the black dot is located can simply turn off. This way, an OLED screen can create a black dot that is actually 100% black. Also, OLEDs tend to have more accurate colors. On top of that, OLED screens have faster response times than LCDs and LED screens, making them better for things like gaming. The lifespan, though, is a disadvantage. That's because it relies on these organic molecules. But the main disadvantage of OLED is its massive price tag. So in conclusion, LCD is the entry-level monitor. It offers reasonable performance at a reasonable price. LED is technically better than LCD, but it does have a higher price tag. And OLED is the technical winner, with its accurate colors, deep blacks, very small thickness, and fast response time. But of course, it is extremely pricey. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video, and thank you for watching.